a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel one of the Labour Party governorship aspirants in Edo State, Kenneth Omasubo, head to court of appeal to further challenge the emergency of Olumide Akbata as the Labour Party candidate for the September 21st governorship election. Edo and Adamawa state governors have knocked President Bola Metunobu over his, his ways of handling the ongoing and bad governance protests. But guys, before I will bring the full story, I would like to welcome on especially to my wonderful channel, Reality at SGC, your hope of news and politics. Thank you so much for joining us on today's news. If today is your first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed. One of the Labour Party governorship aspirants in Edo State, Kenneth Masubo. Head to court of appeal to further challenge the emergency of Olu Media Water as the Labour Party candidate for the September 21st governorship poll. The Federal High Court in Benin had on July 15th dismissed Imas Bon suit wherein he sought Abata's disqualification. Justice Baba Tunde Quadri ruled that the court lacked jurisdiction to entertain the suit because. Kenneth Masumbo failed to exhaust the internal dispute resolution mechanism within the Labour Party before seeking the legal action. I make the judge can declare the lawsuit as premature. So he went for that to dismiss the lawsuit. Now, Kenneth Masumbo wasn't pleased about the case. I make it can go court of appeal, beneath the fusion, to seek the overturned justice quadri verdict, affirming Olumida Bata candidacy. Join us responded in the appeal are Olumida Bata the Labour Party candidate and the Independent National Electoral Commission. So in his notice of appeal, Kenneth Masubo contended that the learned trial judge held in law and arrived at a perverse decision occasioning a miscarriage of justice to the plaintiff when he dismissed the plaintiff's suit on the strength of the first defendant and responded contention in his preliminary objection at the lower courts. Kenneth Masubo also insisted that the, the judge wrote to declare the suit status barred without considering section 285.13a of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 Act 2023 to which the attention of the lower court was drawn at the hearing of the suit. Masubo also stated that a simple arithmetic computation of the 14 days provided for under the law from the date of submission of INEC form EC9 of the first and second defendant and responded, that one was 24th of March 2024 to 12th of April 2024 when the plaintiff and appellant filed his suit, review a total number of 18 days in between. So now, Kennedy must have won the appellant court to make an order setting aside the decision of the lower court. He won the court to order INEC to immediately issue certificate of return to the plaintiff and appellant as the winner of the primary election organized on Friday, 23rd February 2024. He said, May they remove Olumida Akbata, that he's the rightful owner of Labour Party governorship candidate. <laughs> My people don't be small, but uh, barely one month to the election. Now, this one they happen. <laughs> It must be no one agree at all. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions, opinions are in our comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. The Edo State and Adamawa State Governors have knocked President Bola Metunobu over his way of handling the ongoing and bad governance protests. Edo State Governor Governor Gondula Basiki stated that the protests were due to policies of the federal government, which led to the hardship for Nigerians. He said the protest is obviously the result of the difficult living condition which Nigeria have had to endure particularly over the last one years, arising from various policies that have been implemented by the federal government. These policies have taken a severe toll on citizens who have to endure astronomical high food prices, high transportation costs, galloping inflation and loss of operating capital by small businesses owners across the country. So, in Edo states, they have taken several actions within their constitution authority to reduce the suffering and hardship of the people by showing empathy and supporting the people of Edo states to survive these trying times despite the challenges witnessed across the nation. Also, in a related development, the Adamawa state governor, Ahmed Fitiri, knocked President Bola Metubu for his speech on Sunday, which he said was not enough. In the statewide broadcast on Sunday afternoon, Ahmed Fitiri emphasized that it is not enough for President Bola Metunubu to tell Nigeria that he has heard their cries. <laughs> they will not be waiting Nigeria here this time around. They need a fast action. 
<laughs> because if President Bola Metunobu no do anything between now till October, hey, the next protest go bad. So that they want President Bola Metunobu that he should take a serious action to reduce fuel prices and food prices as well. Now that won't be the main thing. If fuel prices should reduce, every other thing will go down. So according to Ahmed Fijiri, he said Nigeria should not wait endlessly for necessary actions. <laughs> The governor of Adamawa State, while speaking in respect to the end bad governance protests in Adamawa State, commend residents for conducting themselves peacefully. He, however, stressed the need for the federal government to heed the cause of the people. He said the protest might be unpopular, especially because of the way it was carried out in some states. But the message is clear and the demand are genuine. None of them can deny that there is no hunger <laughs> at all. There is hunger and Generally, there is poverty. He added that, as a leader of the people, that those in government must, at all times, not only listen, but they should also act. They should act fast. This is the time for them to act fast. <laughs> Before things go spoil. Because the way the youth are going, if President Bola might not no respond fast, <laughs> things might spoil. So, now... They are singing it as a song for President Bola Metungu to reduce the fuel prices and also electricity tariff for dying of hunger. So President Bola Metungu should act fast. Minimum wage is there. He has not done anything about it. So it's high time he plays all the ministers. <laughs> they should be on that minimum wage. Let be the thing. Let them feel the pain the masses are feeling. Also, the President Bola Metungu addressed the nation on the end bad governance protest, but many have knocked him for failing to address the key concern arising from the issue that led to the protest. The issue includes the removal of first subsidy, Naira devaluation, and food inflation. Now, what did they beg for? <laughs> Nothing too much. They don't really give them much time for them to work on that, but it seems say they don't form deaf ear. That is why the youth took to the streets to protest against it. But you gotta be like, say, President Bola Metunubu is not feeling the masses' pain. <laughs> what is really said yesterday wasn't the actual thing the youth are expecting. He didn't even hit the key point, <laughs> honestly. Mm. So, President Bola Metunubu should spin no more blood in Nigeria as a whole. That's what he wish. Because judging from what he said yesterday, <laughs> he didn't mention anything about what the masses are passing through. Even to the point of the protest, those that got injured and perished by the agents they sent out there to attack the protesters because they seek the good life in their own country <laughs> honestly president bola metunobu should think well and act fast so guys i would like to know your thoughts your contributions your opinions are in our comment section i would love to hear from you once again thank you so much for staying to us we do appreciate all this note we have come to the end of today's segment like come your wellness stay safe guys bye